Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory again today. I hope everyone had a good weekend. How's everyone in chat? I really appreciate the bits to kick off the stream. We've got uh, Mindtrip Media with 100 bits and Snuggly Boo Bear with 100 bits. Cheers, very much appreciated. Also have the appropriate coffee mug for today. And Lord Andy, 1258, subscribed at tier one, eight months for Lord Andy, and that kicks off a hype train. Thanks very much, Lord Andy. Welcome in. Good to see you. Appreciate the hype train launch. You can use 100 bits, a Twitch Prime sub, or a tier one sub to perpetuate the hype train. Keep it going. Uh, another four minutes and 30 seconds to complete level one. Alistair2, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you've been well. King Ludovic, thanks very much for the 100 bits. I'm pretty sure that I have uh, notifications muted on my camera uh, scene. Uh, so that shouldn't be a concern going forward. We should hear them later on, but I'm looking at chat, so I'm not gonna miss nothing. Really appreciate that, King, King Ludovic. Thanks for coming in. And first time in chat with 100 bits, That's that's amazing. I really appreciate that. How'd you find the stream? I, no. You've got a sub. I, do you, did you get a gift sub, maybe? Maybe you came in with a raid? Not your first time here, but your first time chatting, I guess. Really appreciate it. Sweet Sandy, two days until puppy. That's awesome. That is fantastic. Sweet Sandy with 500 bits. Holy smokes. Thanks so much, sweet Sandy. That's really generous. King Ludwig says just the first time chatting. All right, cool. Well, welcome in. And thanks for saying hi. Uh, always love the streams. Very cool. Very cool. If there's anybody new uh, and you're here, don't be shy. Um, don't feel like you have to to chat, of course. We, we like lurkers as well. Um, but if you are new and uh, this is your first time here, uh, let us know how you found the stream. Because I'm really working on trying to get the stream out there to more people. And uh, right now I'm trying to do some um, clips on Twitch and edit them into vertical video for Instagram and for TikTok. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, as someone pointed out earlier, uh, there are now stickers available on the channel. I added the stream sticker uh, plugin. What's it called? I think it's a plugin uh, to, to Twitch. So you can use uh, a handful of stickers. My emote stickers are a little small. I need to redo the, do those graphics at a much higher level. So I uh, will eventually get to that. Um, but there are a couple of default stickers as well. Uh, Lord Andy says, I found you from the spawn chunks. Oh, very cool. Uh, which is a good thing to mention, Lord Andy, because there's a new episode of the spawn chunks out right now. Uh, we finished that on Monday, published it last night. And it was a big kind of hands-on response to um, the uh, pale garden, the pale oak wood, and the pale moss blocks, as well as Johnny fought the creaking in survival. So we had lots of hands-on experience with the new, the new biomes and stuff. Very cool. I heard a sticker, but of course we didn't see it because it was on the other screen. Let me switch over so we can actually you see that sticker there it is there's a hype sticker right in the middle of the screen there on the left sweet sandy slapped a hype sticker for 200 bits thanks very much so that is not coming up on my Streamlabs alert but it is coming up on my twitch activity feed so i just have to make sure that they have the right sound effect to them some of the other ones have actual sound effects like the baby yoda has like a lightsaber noise and stuff so I'm going to try all the things. Sweet Sandy, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, they stay on screen for about 30 seconds. Uh, I would love your feedback as to whether you think that's too long or too short. Um, there's a couple of stickers that I liked, but I decided to not enable them because they were very large and they really took up a lot of screen real estate. So I might try and um, find some stickers that are more moderate in size. My emote stickers are too tiny because they were emote scale art, not sticker size art. Uh, they're 124 by 124, and the um, the stickers should be closer to 300 or something, I think. 
Let's dive in here. <clears throat> yeah, those that's the emote heart, King Ludovic, and that's in um that's in chat. I don't I don't have one of those that goes actually on the screen. I think those I think the chat stickers are linked to channel points, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Hype train complete, level one. Thanks very much. 1100 bits for that hype train. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. Uh, so we are at the front of the Wheeljack storage facility. And I did a little teeny bit of testing and design work in between streams. I changed the angles here and I moved everything up front and I raised the roof by one foundation height. And what that does, it gives me the right shape over here that I wanted. It gives me that shape. Uh, however, what it does not do is really match the shape of, um, of Wheeljack the way that I want. So we've got a little bit of work yet left to do. Um, I'd like to try to fit his face mask in there somehow. That's sort of where I got the inspiration. You can see on the left-hand side where I got the inspiration for the horizontal lines. So one thing I want to do today, just to kind of kick us off from a design standpoint, is like try to get this stuff over here. So you can see these horizontal lines are kind of like imitating what we've seen in in the 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 art design. Um, yeah, for the stickers, if you hover over the screen, if you hover over the video, you should be able to get like a little heart. Uh, next to your prime options uh, and then you can choose a sticker um, that or I think there should be a panel it's either a panel or a I don't know what a component is I, I couldn't find it so I'm not sure where the component might be on the live stream uh, but something I was thinking about when I was looking at this ramp is that we are not being consistent here uh, the ground is going to be that level so some of this is going to change, I think. Um, I need to... I really need to decide which side I prefer. And I think it's that one. I think I like it going down farther. It looks a little bit nicer. So the difference there is that it goes over two, goes over two, but then it goes down by one, two, three of those panels, and this only goes down by two. So I will fix that. At least I think that's what I like. Yeah, I like that better. I like the thinner end. Can't do the slide jump off here. Really annoying. There we go. You get so much farther when you do that. Go another two of those. This will give us a little bit more room back here. That's not right, I don't think. 
I had also toyed around the idea of having the glass ceiling be lower than the ridge here. I thought it would be cool to actually have like a, a depth to this here. So that inside, there was just a little bit of a, of a ridge. I thought that would be good. I don't know whether a f I guess a full foundation is probably the best way to do it. And then this would be probably two meter ramp. It'll be a two meter ramp or a two meter ceiling. We can figure that out later, whichever looks better. And I thought we could have some sort of angle here to make this work. One there. So this is a four meter foundation. That's how I got this height. Um, that. We've got one, two, and then the roof starts. And do that here. Uh, the Gigafy emote was a King Ludovic 100 bits. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Sorry I got that wrong about the sticker points, or the channel points. They, they have too many point systems in Twitch. I really wish it was more straightforward. I really appreciate the support, everyone. It's very, very cool. I think the King Ludovic 100 bits showed up in my... Streamlabs recent events as just bits, but it didn't say that it was Gigantify and emote. I mean, Gigantify is technically, I guess, correct, but I think Gigify is more fun, right? Now, do we want this also in here? I think that makes sense. Looks structural. Man, the long burn on this jetpack is so good now. This gives us a lot of clearance over these things too for design. This does bring this all the way to the edge. I'm missing a piece there, that's fine. And I just have to, I think it's because this side is higher. So we just have to work out how to do that on both sides. Which side do I like? I think I want this black or this chrome stuff to come to the very edge. I think this would be cooler if this was a big pillar. The question is, does that Probably stick through. St probably sticks through inside, right? 
Yes. Do we care about that? I'd be okay with that in the corner. If it looked good out here. Oh, no. I don't want it that far out. Or do I? Actually, yeah. We could just bring it all the way out here. I thinking we could have that stuff kind of go into it. That makes sense. Now that's going to be fussy. So we want like a foundation, I guess. Yeah, we're really far away from unlocking the hover pack. Nowhere's near. So that should be fine there. Should be able to put the big one here. They want that to be taller. Oh, this is the outside. Gotta be careful here. I was gonna attach something to the bottom of that, but that is not not ideal. Maybe we'll just do that. For this wall, I guess we'll do the same thing. Just going down the other way. Don't know if we're keeping this red part. We probably are. I don't know about red, but we're definitely going to keep something there. I'm trying to decide if I like this little bump up. Part. I think that's technically the ceiling inside. Right. What if we just get rid of this? And those would probably be white anyway, right? Hmm. I had this like this before with these in here. I wonder if that's going to look better. It does have the boxiness to it. That's not the outside though, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. So it is very boxy. I just like the idea of having these kind of overlap if we can 
so we could even have some depth on the outside wall here. I've got a funny feeling this is going to have to be um, vertical belts going up to the manufacturers. Bali, hello, how's it going? I think we're going to have to have some of these down here. Could probably get away with a different shape. At least for now. That's a bit high, maybe. Oh, it won't let me put the other wall there. That's annoying. Only the triangle walls. I can't use these, can I? I guess I could just move them that way. Huh. All right. Looking to try to cover up this little gap, right? And make it look good. for now. Okay. Oh, missing a piece there. And it's the same. Yep. So we need to have this come down. No, this would probably stop here. Right, inside I was thinking of doing an angle. But it's really subtle. I think we can keep the angle there and just keep it flat here. Sick of simplicity. That effect. Oh, that drops in here, though. Yeah, I don't know about having this low angle here. It looks okay flat. I think what I should do is I should, I should do this cool part here. Oh, I've got it going. I just have to continue it through the other side here.
think it's three. This is where I really wish we had like a um, Y level to work with. This is even with that. This is two down. Oh, so this is higher. That's too high. What did I do in the front here? That's a half. I really hope they release half walls. My gosh, would that be nice. It's on the ground. it won't let me move it around. At one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that one's straight at the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. I do like that pattern. I think it looks cool. How many blocks does it go? It does it you snap to the floor, not if you snap to the pillar. Yeah, it snapped it to the floor. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Sorry. So it's just one in the middle and then it goes back up again? So it goes back up over here. It's a whole space though. One, two, three. Two, three. yeah, that's right, okay. That means this is gonna be a really weird spot. I want to make the. I might want to make this asymmetrical. And make this a little bit longer on this side. Just because this is in a weird spot. I could move this over. It is in a nice line with the back here, but... I feel like if we move this over to be central here, it really wouldn't take much work. And it would work better with the pattern. And then we could maybe, it would come in on the seam. Oh, but then that becomes a problem here. Yes. What do I want to do here? Well, I mean, let's just finish it, I guess.
goes one past it or two. It's the one. See here, I've got a bigger, a bigger support on it. And Mixo, welcome in. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, huh? I might have to extend this one. But then I don't know how I'm going to handle the edge. I guess I could move that over to the left rather than to the right. And I think that's still that's still doable. And that would give us a little bit more room to play with. It also doesn't need to be that big. I think it's a little distracting. Oh, that's something else I could do. I could just make it smaller. Rather than a big glass thing here, we could just have it be a little bit more industrial. That's less of an interruption. I still would want it maybe centered a bit. If that comes in over on the side, I just I'd still have to do some sort of little juke and jive here. I always forget about the bonk when you hit the glass. It's pretty funny. So if this was to come over here. We'd still have to, like, have it scoot sideways. Unless... Unless, unless, unless... I could put it under. Then we would see it here, though. I feel like we've got enough room to do it. that. Do I want to do that? See, it would be nice if I could do like a full panel. That would be ideal. So maybe... Hmm. Tricky. Zero, hello. Good to see you. Being very good. Busy weekend podcasting. There was a episode of the Imp and Skids podcast that was recorded with myself and Johnny from Spawn Chunks. I did a new Spawn Chunks episode yesterday. We did a bonus episode for our Spawn Chunk members on Saturday morning. And then I streamed on Friday and Saturday. Sunday was a nice relaxing day. I went for a hike. I 
I am definitely tired for the weekend, though. Yeah, how... How to make this look good. What I'd like to do is just pull the pattern down. But then it's going to be asymmetrical, but I guess we can figure that out. We've got the room for it. Is that going to bother me, though? I mean, I can pull that pattern down, too. Miss it all. A good friend of yours moved apartment, so you had to give them a hand. Ugh, storage unit full of stuff. That's no good. All last week. That's rough. It sucks when you go to help somebody, then it ends up being a lot more than you bargained for. I'm liking this. It's looking a lot better. It's looking a lot more like the the influence that I want. Is there a way that I could do this inside? I wonder. With a floor hole. So it's all going up here. Technically, I could. I wanted to have something going straight up there. So it would be here. Could I decorate something in here that could look nice? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's not awful. That might be the easiest thing to do. Do you have the framed pillars if you're looking for something neat and slim for the conveyor lift? Yes, I think I do. I think I got those. Yep. Whoops. have to work on the sizing. this part. It's already a low ceiling. I think inside might be the best way. 
I think that actually looks pretty good. And I don't mind being able to see that it's working from in here. So let's pop down here. And all we have to do for that is just adjust where this is going. This is still going to go down that way. So really, it's just a matter of throwing you here. And if we need to move it again, we will. Uh, that has to be a Mark V. Mark V all the way up. I'll do that thing again when we get it all set up. It's just a matter of nudging this over. Sorry, I said Mark 5, I meant Mark 4. And then here, we can at least do simple portal. almost an hour and the sun's going down so this is a good opportunity for me to keep my brakes in line and sandy and i have the same brain <laughs> thanks sandy uh where's a good spot let's just i'll park you guys inside the factory maybe and you guys can watch some stuff move around yeah give me uh Give me a few minutes here. Just need to go get another cup of coffee. Where's a good vantage point? The concrete's always moving. We definitely need lights. That's the, some, the other thing we have to worry about in here too. Uh, yeah, give me uh, five or seven minutes, folks. I'll be right back.
Uh, Snuggly Boo Bear, is that the in-game music that I'm hearing? No, that is uh, Stream Beats by Harris Heller. It's supposed to be royalty-free music, but uh, I have to take it out of my track uh, when I send it over to YouTube because I get all kinds of false claims, unfortunately. It's a real pain in the butt. Um, I would love to try and keep it in. Uh, every now and again, I get like a Twitch claim, so I just kind of the music is not in the VODs, which is unfortunate because it makes the breaks and the starting soon screen feel a lot more professional. Um, but I take them out to just avoid having to have copyright claims on copyright free music. It's just, it's really frustrating as a creator. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you can totally listen to it for free. Uh, streambeats.com. If you look up Harris Heller stream beats on Google, you'll find it. Yeah, the, the copyright stuff is a real pain. Okay, uh, we obviously need some lights in here as well. But let's finish the outside here first. So if that's going to be there, I can remove all of this. And that means this is okay. And this all looks right. And we've just got to do whatever's happening at the front here. Which I think for now will just be... We may change the color of this. I think for now this is going to end up looking like a box. But we'll... Um, Figure out what's happening after that. Don't need that there. I also need to extend the ground here. Take off the color. This is actually probably not going to have to come around. Probably just going to come straight down to here. I feel like that's pretty good. Unless you want it to be closer. Hmm. I could almost see myself doubling down on the depth of this and having this come out a little bit farther. I think that looks better. that helps. Yep. And then along here, I guess we'll just do some sort of wall. I guess I could repeat. I'd lose a lot of space, but I could repeat this pattern. One or two.
Is that going to line up? Maybe we should do it from here. It'll line up. Oh, but it won't line up with that angle. It's okay. We'll do it from there. Now that's going to fight. Yeah, it's going to fight. I don't want to move it out because I don't want it to cover... Well, I guess we can nudge it out a little bit. Chances are that's going to get covered up anyway. I'll probably do like a reverse of that pattern. So... More of these. Whoops. And then probably like a downward triangle. Those are going to be off-center, aren't they? Oh no, those are right. I think it might be too large. I might want to drop this down a bit. That's a little bit better. And maybe we could even have it be a little bit more accessible. So from here... A secret tunnel. <laughs> What's the line? Is it? It's um, Avatar: The Last Airbender, right? Secret tunnel. It's like a folk song or something from Bossing Say, I think. no matter which direction we're coming from. That's cool. Yeah, I've downloaded um, Stream Beats. If you look up Stream Beats on iTunes, or Apple Music rather, you can get it there too. The awkward part here is that this is where I would have to start increasing the height of stuff. So this feels a little bit tight. I don't know about that. Asphalt or grip metal? I'd say grip metal.
I don't know if I'm gonna keep that open. I might. I might keep it open. I think that looks okay. And we just have to figure out what's happening with the edge here. Definitely not a red roof. We could make that an actual roof piece instead of a wall piece if we wanted a little bit more definition on the end. That does not feel all that exciting, unfortunately. I feel like there needs to be more happening in that space. if it wasn't for this nonsense. Maybe what needs to happen here is actual foundation. Although we can't deal with it there. There's a way to do this. I think it's if I do it this way. Nope, not right either. say it's better to butt them up against each other so same thing but oh I can't move it that's so frustrating I have to nudge the foundation Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Really appreciate the help with the bots. So I don't think I want to get into having one of these down here because that really tightens up the space. So we may only just like have a fake corner like that. I think it looks okay. 
some weird shadows that happen for me. I feel like these could also have a bit more decoration on them. Sometimes it's almost better to have all the triangles, right? Interesting. Uh, I'm guessing Satisfactory doesn't have spotlights. It does, actually. Yeah, we've got um, ceiling lights, wall-mounted floodlights, and street lights. So these are unfortunately massive. So like, they're a little bit much. And it's I there's a way to get them to shine up, but it's really hard. Um, I think it would be cool to try and embed something here. Shining up. I think upward lighting is one of the biggest things that people are asking for. Uh, I've seen a lot of people hide these in walls so that only the tip st sticks out, but these are they're also just big, right? I mean, they sort of have the right angle for what we want to do up here, right? So, like, we could sort of, you know, if that was high enough, it might work. Kind of faked, faked the height on it. We could have that be at the right angle, right? Uh, also, signs in the game will emit light. So we could use like a four meter sign here and have like a little sublight there. So, like, if I wanted to come in here and have a white light, we could do that. right gives it kind of a technical feel and without um i can't remember the name of the rendering setting um options video global illumination turn that up on dramatically changes my lighting and my frames but this actually gives off light now. Like there's actually there would actually be a glow from that at night. You can see it actually there on the bottom of this this thing. It's not a lot. Uh, we can increase it, but because it's being blocked, it's not really going too far. Um, I don't know if we can see that inside or not. Yeah, you can see like the lights on the machines are kind of giving off like a glow on the floor. I don't play with that because, of course, it really tanks my my frames when I'm streaming. So it's much brighter in here, but there's no no lights from those. It's only from like actual lights. Actually, um, I'm not sure if you've seen the inside of Ironhide. Yeah, all the lights are massive. It's really bizarre. This might be dark enough inside during the day to see the actual lights. Right? So we've got ceiling lights across the top here. And at night, this really does feel kind of reddish. 
But there's enough natural light coming in during the day. Actually, you know, if I did the global illumination thing here, you'd notice. I really wish I could put that on a hotkey. Yeah, dramatic difference, but slideshow. Like I'm getting four frames a second here, right? Maybe not four, but it's like 12 or less. And now the game is not allowing me to... Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, mouse options. So slow, hard to do. There's some sort of bug with the global illumination as well. I saw someone talking about it earlier on um, Total Eclipse stream. Like, this is painful, which sucks. for Because I'd love to use it for screenshots, right? Obviously, I cannot play like that. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, I, I love the idea of it. It's just it's hard to uh, hard to reconcile, I guess. Uh, I guess we're going to do the same thing over here. Do I want to leave this open? I sort of want to leave that open. Oh, I know what I could do. I could use this um, frame wall thing. Yeah, yeah. There are some times when the um, the zooping part comes in handy, and other times where it's a real pain. Sometimes I like to use, like sometimes I prefer not to use it. Thinking this might be better if it wasn't hidden. I don't know why that placed upside down either. Silly. Hope they fix a lot of that stuff soon. Certainly feeling more technical. Don't know about the underside there. I feel like that's a little bit... Off. I also think that we might want to have this. Framed up. Yeah. 
Not bad. I do like having access through the bottom, which is nice. What I do up here was like a double, yeah. I think technically light would seep in there. Fourth one goes down. That's okay. I'm not like super sold on it, but it's a, it's all right. Now, weirdly, I have more room on this side. I don't know why that is. Uh, I think it's because I made two two belt spaces over here instead of one. Yeah, there's two. That's why this is wider. Okay. So this still goes out just as far, but it doesn't have the actual space, and that's fine. Um, I might leave this like that. At least for now. Certainly feels more like a complete thought. And now I have to just kind of sort out the top here. We may have to make some of these skylights. We'll see. Right, so that's like that. This is higher, but I might be able to make this custom here. I was thinking of maybe doing something like this. Oh, and then I can't, oh, that's annoying. Right. So it might be better to go straight across here. To encase this in anything, might be able to do not 
quite... Probably better to use that architecture thing. do that way, but I needed to be able to connect I think I have to use small foundations. There we go. That sort of looks like it works. Looks pretty transformer like, I'd say. And then inside, we have an odd space. So it might be better to go, probably just better to go from up here. Zoop down, I'll just go straight through the floor. okay we could probably frame it a little bit more inside with some beams yeah I'm not bothered by that that's a weird choice though and I'm not crazy about the low roof but I think it looks better from the outside This is where I think we might want to open this up with um, probably some skylights along here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we don't do the whole line, like maybe we figure out how many there are here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Even numbers are not my friends. So I could do maybe five and then a space of two and then five more. That might change depending on what the roof does outside, so we'll leave it like that for now. Because this this is probably going to shift a bit. And that's an inside wall anyway. Or an inside ceiling, I guess.
Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm feeling like it's mimicking this a little bit too much, but I mean, it's a starting area. I don't mind a little bit of consistency. So I feel like I've got enough kind of design language happening that I can probably start to pull what's happening outside inside. And I'd like to tidy up some stuff in here. We're also not making any screws. I don't know if I need those right now. Now ah, we're okay. But I do like this and I maybe should mimic it on both sides. We came out farther here. I wouldn't mind some extra working space up there anyway. Where is the middle this way? Is the question. Right here. So this starts on two left. So this was too far forward. I guess we'll get to decide between the white and the red. I don't hate that, but it's not my favorite. Like I had to finagle that a little bit. Yeah, probably. I think this is just full of flat pieces. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like to see the daylight as well. This needs to be one with the railing. That's just about where that went. Not a big drop. I don't think it needs an actual railing. Yeah. What do we think? Do we like the red or do we like the white? I kind of like the red. Myself. snap that on there. It was very much in the middle. Just don't remember where or how I got it down to a specific height. There was a way that it snapped 
on the end. Oh, there we go. Is it? Is that it? No. How on earth did I do that? right Or four. Actually, I could probably leave those there and just go for this one. That's not right at all. What happened there? Oh, that's too high. Whoops. right? Yes. Do we care about the weird little gap that we can't see on that side? Why can't we see it on that side? Does it exist? Yes, but it makes sense. I guess that's fine. That looks a little bit heavy. I could also extend this this way too. Uh, that's not awful, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, I think I like the red. I guess maybe that part could be white. We still have to deal with this weird end part that continues to be a problem. I think I might make this too wide just so that it's in the middle proper. Oh, but then we have that issue too, don't we? Those? I did. Two, 
too wide? Nah. That's fine. Um... What am I doing for silica? Uh, we might want to get some more. I feel like I should have more of these little extra bins around for the stuff that we're just not producing a lot of. Maybe my plastic and rubber should be down here. Or I should make more of these and stick them down here for now. Really wish you could put those closer together. Customizer. Do I have a pink? I do. there no I guess that has to be red doesn't it what do I do on the other side I link it all up oh no I just didn't have anything over there is not supported. with it being red. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we might be okay without that top section there. Unless we just do that. And then make it gray. Oh, but then that goes into there. Right. Sort of feels weird. Like it better than this, though. Night is falling again. You are right, Sandy. You are correct. I wonder if we should put a little declining thing right here. 
How am I going to do that? gonna work and is that gonna show through and it gets dark super fast and that shows through darn it Sorry, it's not the end of the world. It looks very sharp and dangerous, though. Uh, folks, I need to take another break. Uh, night falls. It's hard to work inside without the lights, and it's also good for me and good for you once an hour to stand up, grab a stretch, grab a snack, refresh the coffee. Uh, I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
Okay, let's see. We can sort of pull some of this down the edge. I don't know if I want that to be a solid piece or not. It might be easier to do that inside. It's one, two, three, four. So it is big enough for a window if we wanted that to actually be a window. I'm not sure what window would look the best though. Probably just the single panel. And there's... I guess there's another single panel window that has like color to it. Try that for now. Kind of dull, but it'll get the job done at least from one angle. Really don't know about that. Kind of whether wonder whether that should be red, although that kind of flashes. Maybe we do white. It's a little bit more seamless. I don't know about that piece anyway. I think it kind of looks a little bit silly. I think it might be better just to have a flat roof. That's not enough to make you dizzy. Holy crap. White now. So as boring as it is, I think we might just pull this down. These don't cost silica, so we might as well. Except for when they don't rotate the right way. This is one thing where Satisfactory really screams above Minecraft for me, is how quickly you can put something like that together. It's pretty cool. I want this to be over the entrance. So I'll go to there. Probably changes this to a one meter. Oh, that's gonna mess with the way that that looks, doesn't it? Right, I forgot about that. Hmm. don't know if I like that. It's not the end of the world, but it's not the best. Yeah, we may have to raise that up. Which is too bad, because I don't want it to be too high. Like, that already feels pretty high. I guess we could use angles on the side. That might be helpful. Now, can I get a red beam across here? I think I'd have to use a 
foundation. Get it started. good from up here does not look good from down there I guess I could have gone higher if I don't overlap it it should be fine so I'll do this here really strange how they always connect to like middle points but then you can end them on regular endpoints. I find that strange. Oh that's always going to overlap. Um, hmm. Right. I... We need to start this back farther. those to snap either. Maybe I should just have them go all the way to the to the edge. Not gonna show there. If I paint them red, do they just look like a cool support beam? Yeah. Man, the direction you have to point your mouse for these is really messy. We can fix the seams later, but I think that looks okay. Cool. Okay. I don't think I want another catwalk on this side. Well, because it... It, tri it cuts into that. So I want to leave this open. Uh, do we like the raised bit here? I don't want to do it on both sides. Let's 
so I'm actually going to say no to that to make my life easier. I like the triangle bit part, though. So we'll keep that. That's good. This feels really cool. I like that. I'm not sure why we're getting such... We should, this shouldn't be slowing down to the point where it's a problem. I wonder if I deleted something on the, the output line. I don't seem to be moving very fast here. That's the right speed. He's not slow. There's no rods on it though? Oh, there it is. I wonder if it'll, if it's just me doing the math correctly, but just because of the way that the game works, it just doesn't matter. seems to be slow too. Are you backing up? You are. Well, this is producing... That's a 60 line, is it not? It's 40. Yeah, that's probably what it needed. It was just a faster belt. Oh yeah, we've got wire backing up too. Interesting. All right, let's, uh, how are we gonna do the power for these guys? I could do like a frame around them. Cause I'm not moving them. So we could do like a beam frame. I wonder how that would look if it went right over this part here. the same height. I could use the wall mounts. Yeah, I think that would break that up a little bit. I think that's fine. So we'll just do that. Is that the height that I want? The trick I used to get it in the middle of the foundation was the small pillar support? No. Beam support. Beam support. This one. So that's the height that I want to be consistent with everything else. Correct. And then I should be able to hook up to there. Why can I not? Hmm. Oh, I don't need it to be. I guess I do want it to be maybe on the seam. A 
How far is it going to go this way? I want to see him pass the thing. Guess it's about right. smaller foundations. Had it. Had it. Yay, that worked. Are you kidding me? It's not long enough. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. How far away? If I put that right on the seam. Now let's do there. That's full length over that way. Looks about right. And then this just needs to nudge a little bit this way. Should look correct, yes. Now I just have to make this the right height, and we're good. Do I like that better than the other one? When I do this other one down here, I think they overlapped. I think I prefer the top to be the longer one. Yeah. I think that's the case. This is going to go back farther. That's about right.
This should work. Finicky. But currently working. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'll just use these and place them where they make sense. Thankfully, there's only a few machines, so this, once you get it set up, it's really not that hard. I thought we could have done the top too. My next factory, everything's going to be powered from below. That's for sure. And then along here. I guess this will be one of the places where the power comes in and we do have one of those down here somewhere it's right over here i think so hard to get around yes um i guess we can just use this kind of stuff Always better to have multiple points to pull your power from. And it would actually end up being right here, wouldn't it? Gaming 87, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Easy and hidden power is the end goal. I really wish they would give us some sort of end game unlock to power the floors. I think it would make things a lot better. You'd still have to manage everything. Like, you'd still have to plug things in. It's just that it would be... Uh, a cleaner look for people, I think. Okay, let's just remove this for for now. And then we'll grab a double wall pole. Is that the right height? So the hitboxes of these machines is really screwy. I hope they fix it. Is that how I did it over there? Did they go right up close to it? Uh, no, I didn't go so close. Okay. I think we can just go right to it. It's fine. That does feel a little bit strange, that close, I have to say. It might have been better to, to have that go straight in. But we do have that issue along here.
just realized that these are the wrong color. Uh, this is... Modular frames. I think I made these white. Basically, I kept the, the colors of the machines or the colors of the belts until it gets to the point where they have to then be um, combined into other, other areas. So I can start to unhook these. Slowly but surely, it's starting to feel a little bit more like I want. I think it's worth it to get it laid out and working first with just like ceiling power, and then you know like where you want to cut back. What are you missing? Not enough rods. That doesn't make any sense. You've got rods right there. is not right. That's supposed to be a smart splitter. I must have messed that up when I was moving things around. Good. Yeah, the daisy chain on factories, it does it does create a problem. You have to really be on top of your planning. That's for sure. crazy about this beam thing that I tried to construct. red stripe I certainly prefer the white walls Messing around with that, I think, at the end of last stream. Having like a stripe around the middle. It certainly matches Wheeljack to have some color highlights in there, so I'll, I'll have to think about that. Don't remember putting that there.
Uh, does that go all the way around through here too? Don't know where that came from. Oh, I do. It's outside. I was messing off stream. Yeah, it's from the cool corner thing. Huh. Doesn't look too bad. It flickers a little bit. Or a lot. Yeah, maybe that's why I get rid of it. I mean, the easy solution is to uh, simply bring it out. Which is not a bad idea anyway. Problem solved. Well, on the outside, anyway. I don't think I want to do the same thing in here. awful. Barely tell. So what color floor do we want to have down there? Do we want the same white everywhere? Or do you want it to be more gray? Or maybe one of the metal finishes? Unpainted is kind of cool. Having too much fun with trains? Well, that's good. Trains are fun. They're supposed to be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some trains going. We're almost there. I actually, I should be working on my um, milestones here. I think I need, yeah, computers. I can do the 400 pipes and the 1,000 um, copper, no problem. Now that we have all this going, like... That's done. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then the 50 computers, I could just load this up and have it do it manually. Should have been doing that this whole time. We've not been really getting any points either outside of the little bits that we've been throwing in. Don't know what we have to unlock. 50 computers. I might even have those somewhere. Guess not. Gotta remember I have those though. Three. Anything worth getting? Uh, 
management. Customizer. We can get the copper paint. That's kind of fun. Oh, we don't have enough. I could save up for it. Metal roof. I think we should probably save up for whatever's coming next. I have 45 out of 50 computers. I feel like we could probably just do that. Creates walkway, never uses walkway. I think computers are the one thing we have to use the manufacturer for. Oh no, we can make them here. Well, that's fine. Yeah. I think I do get sucked into building, Sandy. You're right. The problem that I have is that I need to like prioritize, like set up stuff to do in the background before you um, you start doing stuff the rest of the time, you know? Um, I'm gonna stack up the plastic. And this just needs power. You are no longer hooked up because I took away your power. They're more orange, aren't they? Uh, Axiom, thanks very much. Appreciate that. Builds factory to just chisel away at his desk. Also, also fair. Fair assessment. I really want to move all this crap. Get this out of the way. Milestone reached. Train signals placed on train rails can control and improve train behavior. This helps to avoid events where multiple trains attempt to occupy the same physical location. <laughs> For information related to earlier train events, please refer to your employee non-disclosure agreement. I like how it pauses for the, the quotation stuff. Very cool. All right. Uh, next milestone. I mean, we only have two. Engineering Mark II. I could unlock that right now or whenever the thing comes back. Mark II pipes would be fantastic to have. We are a little ways away from that, so we will focus on that. I have the things. I am just going to put those in there. Well, I have to wait for it to come back. So we just need a thousand plastic and rubber. Easy breezy. And I think we're out of pipes over here. Yeah. I'm not aching for unlocks in the store, so we should be good. What's the other thing I could be making here? Heavy modular frames and crystal oscillators. I think I need those for signs. Yes. What do those take? Quartz, cable, and reinforced iron plates.
keep on having to remember to get my quartz. Plastic and rubber too. It's slow if you remember to do it. I'm gonna need more than one of these. Probably a good assessment. See why I want to have a lot of skylights up here. So this is going to be our manual section for now. So how... I think what I need to worry about now is where other machines might go. I want to make sure I'm planning for another level of smelters if I need to. Um, we do have this sorted out. This is coming in the building now. Uh, although we've got some buckets of shame here. So it's not exactly right. I wanted to sort out the coal. This is being split but going nowhere. And where I want to send it is actually just here. I guess maybe I'll do it over this side. So this is the extra iron. Uh, everything that we have here should be being used up. So if I do my math, we've got 240 iron. And that gets all used up at the foundries and then cascading down the line. So this other 240 is going into wire at 150. That leaves 90. 30 is going to iron rods. That leaves 60. And then 60 is going to iron plates, so all being used up. We are not making screws so I need to get this around to the screws. And that should be pretty straightforward. Two, three, four, five, six. reach where's the pole okay. so we have screws are here we have to have an input come in somewhere 
along here, which is easier said than done. Why are you not moving? Oh, how did you get cut off? Whoops. Oh, I thought I hooked that up. I guess I didn't. Is this too... This is too small of a space for a lift, isn't it? Yes. I should switch my default back. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. It's weird. Uh, that's kind of close. So we'll have to come out to here. And then up as soon as we can. That still doesn't solve how I get the iron in here. I think we're going to have to go underground. We have to be a little cheaty. I say underground, under the floor. We can still do a line, it's just that I have to get it to here. Every time I see trains come up on the stream, I can't get out of my head. Come on and ride the, ride the train song from the 90s. Nice. That'd be a fun kind of sticker or something. Probably run into some copyright issues, but... I ran into those on Royal TV stuff, so here we are. Uh, let's just take it down right here. Probably the best way. And I'll bring this over. Yeah, might as well. Oh, should I split it first? I should split it first. Yeah. Smart splitter. Need another merger here. Did I not point that in the right direction? You all saw me do it. This is going to be overflow. And then this is going to be iron ingot. How many screws do we need here? We are doing... So only need 12.5. So a single belt should do. And where are we here? Tell 
tell me the sun's going down already. That's wild. I guess to kind of keep it looking cool, we could have it come up here. How did that turn around? I didn't turn it around. I cannot believe it's been another hour already. Screws, screws, screws. Make them blue. We are inching close to Going underground here. I definitely don't need all of this. One. You always need a sub basement. Never fails. Four hours. Has it been four hours? No. No, it's been three. I started at one. It's only four. It's not. It's only quarter to four for me. Oh, the game gave alerts. I wonder if it's because I was I I signed in a little bit earlier today. Either way, I should go while it's dark. Come back and hook this up. This is getting hard to see in the basement. So once again. All the planets are aligning and colliding in the skybox. Um, Y'all can hang out here for a few minutes. I'm just going to refresh my coffee. I'll be right back.
All right, let's see if I can hook this up and get the screws going. So the screws have an output. The output is connected. This is a merger. That's a merger. So once they start getting their stuff, we should be good. Just that currently the screws are being sent all to recycling and not anywhere else. And that's okay. Uh, they'll be they'll be filtered, but they won't be. Um, nothing else will happen to them at the moment. Uh, this just needs. Uh, I guess this. That should be taking some and sending the rest upstairs. This, I unfortunately now will think is going to be too heavy of a line. I don't think we have the right belt speed for this stuff now. <clears throat> we started yet? Maybe it didn't hook it up downstairs. Maybe it's just taking a long time. Yep, just taking a long time. Uh, belt speed for this. Uh, this is 150 screws. That needs to be a Mark III. Because then it's 150 plus 30 is 180. Need to make sure that's 180 all the way. Yeah, I got a funny feeling our elevator is going to be kind of slow. Although it looks to be okay right now. When the screws start coming, though, that'll be a problem. So now we're automating screws as well. And that's good because we are going to need those for putting together some modular frames for the next next milestone, which I can do now. I think the shuttle thing is back. Thousand plastic. One, two, three, four, five. Thousand rubber. One, two, three, four, five. Good. <clears throat> Secondary pipelines will be great. That will help with... We haven't even attempted to do any fuel power yet, so we are in really good shape. Uh, did I find the boombox tapes? No, I have not found all of them. I haven't looked for them, actually. I, in my other playthrough, I found at least one. That's for sure. Also, welcome in, Ripcord. Good to see you. How'd you find the stream? Milestone reached. Pipelines and pipeline pumps can now be upgraded to Mark II. They are like Mark I, but better. Pipes seem to be objects of fascination to humans. In fact, there are recorded instances of humans doing nothing but thinking about pipes for hours. <laughs> well, we are in the last milestone of... Year six, um, before we are stuck. 100 computers and 100 modular frames. We can do the rubber, no problem. I might even have that on me. I do. Concrete is right over here. 1,500 concrete. One, two, three. And one for me. <clears throat> so we're not exactly halfway, but we're close. Oh, right, it's not. It's not back. Four minutes. So let's switch one of these guys over here over to heavy modular frames. And we'll manually start making those. I feel like I've got some computers done. 
We'll keep the computers going. Heavy on the plastic, and then we'll switch this over to the modular frames. Oops. What a heavy modular frame stack to only 50, right? Be sure. So we should put a bin on this. First screws, probably. Five twenty five. Yeah, let's do. Hmm. So what will that give us? Another 10? <clears throat> so that all your screws are gone? Yeah. I haven't, I don't have the alternate recipe for um, heavy modular frames yet. Inside dev joke there, is it? Uh, we'll run for fun. What's the inside joke? I don't know if I like these eye railing things. How did that get there? do on the other side. I didn't do anything. I just left it, right? Yeah, okay. That's better. It's back, so I can dump concrete and the rubber thinking of pipes all the time uh, I forgot the dev's name train designer oh that's that's the inside joke the joke about pipes is from a train designer interesting dad from bear subscribing at tier one 26 months thanks so much dad from bear really appreciate it Oh, terrain, terrain designer. The terrain designer was really into pipes. Okay.
Yeah, I don't know about this floating beam here. I feel like I might have to stick that into the wall. Uh, I need to do the same thing over here. And I would also... I think I like this unpainted finish for down here. I don't want to unpaint stuff, <laughs> right? Like I just did there. This is the kind of thing where I might want to go underneath it and do it this way. Not the most glamorous. I think that's everything there. It's weird how it's easy to talk over a bunch of other stuff that you do, but when you're doing something really mundane and repetitive, it's, it's hard to talk over. You're like, what do we talk about? How interesting this is? How much I wish it was over? All right, I can probably snag what's left just visually from the top. Subtle, but I think it gives more of a factory floor vibe. Miss any in the corner. Anything I miss is definitely going to stand out, though, so at least it's easy to spot. There's one. Not bad. Only missed a few. Not sure which rocks you mean, Will. The almost is almost a metallic color. Yeah, you're right. You are right. Okay, so now that we've got that sorted, uh, with the extra iron coming in, it's stuttering, which means that we probably are just not able to handle enough here. Yeah. 
I would say that's what's going on. Yeah, we just don't have the belt capacity for a full, for everything that's currently being sunk. We just don't have enough. So, I mean, I, I could dial back some machines, but I think that's the whole point of a starter factory is that it's the most to keep your inventory full. Yeah, actually, it'll, it'll ebb and flow. Like, as we empty a bin of stuff, like if I emptied the concrete or if I emptied the, if I took some stuff out of my inventory, then I think we would um, see a, a change in speed. Two forty. I chose the wrong belt, didn't I? This is why you don't want to use the screw recipe for that for heavy modular frames. It is bananas. Nine. Circuit board. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get to that next milestone. That's fine. We can't unlock tier 7 until we get the space elevator stuff sorted. So that's fine. All right, so we did a little bit of design. We did a little bit of technical stuff. I think now I want to uh, see if there's anything over here that I can tear down. And we can certainly move the blueprint designer um, copper I feel like I could just move up there but that's just going into a bin because we have wire and we have cable being made over there out of steel um, and iron rather so that's fine so the only copper that I need really is sheets right it's the only recipes I have let's just find some copper So eventually copper goes into aluminum. Uh, copper powder. I've never... I don't know if I've ever seen copper powder in the game. Tier 8. Oh, that's why. Copper sheets. We're using iron for that. Uh, copper for casings. Yeah, okay. So we can just... We're good. We can just do that. And move some of this stuff. I'm not even going to bother to turn the miner. We're just going to clean some of this up. That's what they should do is blip out of the way as opposed to them telling you, hey, by the way, you can't build here right now. I don't know about the white, but that's fine. We'll worry about that later. Can I make this any higher is the question? Probably. Do I just want to face it that way? Probably.
Eventually, I think our copper facility is going to be over there. But for now, I just want to put it into a bin. So we're going to do just a quick roundabout here. This is going to go into a constructor. Gonna be making copper sheets. Gonna have a bin. Might as well make it a big one. It's really strange how they don't line up the out outputs for the machines. Ten per minute. Why are you... Oh, you're down. I didn't notice that. Crap. You have a different height. Well, that's annoying. right where it was. I need a smelter, you're right. Thank you. I definitely could get used to this whole white um, concrete thing. Sixty. Uh, I'm just going to cut this down to half. We already have a ton of these things. This is just a temporary setup. Constructor. Would have found that out real quick. Hey, by the way, Joel, that's not going to work. Bin, we can probably actually put the bin over here. This may or may not fit. just that's tidy very tidy Power is already up here. I feel like I can make that better. Everything's on this side. down to there. 
long as that's not going through the actual rocks, I think we're good. Don't even need, need the ramps anymore because I've got the jetpack. Really basic, although let's make it uh, home. Actually, you know what? Let's just do the whole thing. I kind of want to know what these, the machines look like unpainted. Let's just unpaint all this stuff. Real basic. I didn't select the recipe. is at 30. That's making 30. This needs 20. So we can dial this back down to 20. Uh, that means it only needs 20 per minute. So we can save ourselves some power and put this down to 20. And that's just going to run in the background and be super friendly and nice. Now we can delete this entire mess. Which will look a lot better down in our melting area for Ironhide. rid of all this. I'm pretty sure we already have a big bin of those, so let me just double check. I like a melter much better. I, you know, I mean, they do the same thing. They do the same thing. One of these is the copper sheets, and I think it's either full or very close to full. Oh, actually, okay, we could use the use the dump. That's good. I did not have as many as I thought. I don't know what I was dumping them into. Circuit boards, maybe? Oh, I think we had to use like a thousand to get one of the tiers unlocked. Do I have enough room? I might. Nope. So we're not sorting these over here. I have to make sure I make a note that this is still a manual a manual bin. We should grab a little one meter sign. Oh, there are no one meter small signs? Hmm. How's that for some fancy flying? Now we shouldn't have, yeah, we've got two overflow here and it, that shouldn't be the case. But I think it's because of our belt speed.
What else could I delete here? A lot of power poles don't need to be here. You always need more concrete, so I don't mind leaving that running. Yeah, moving the signs back was a really good idea when I designed that. Space. Uh, circuit boards again. We are a third of the way there in the computers. And we are fifth of the way there on these guys. What are we doing for screws? Probably nearly done. Wow. the copper thing um we're working on the last tier and that's just the blueprint designer i think and that's it i'd have to double check i'm really tempted to blow up this tree it's just one of those decisions once you make it you cannot go back this place is a mess just the blueprint designer that's it okay so really, we should be looking at um, modular engines because we have the first objective done. Motors and rubber. And then adaptive control units. Those are complicated. Wow. That's going to be a factory unto itself, I think. And I do know that you need phase three in phase four, so it's worth setting up. Yeah, they're not fun. I remember how long it took to do them before. But that's the thing. That's why I think it's nice when you decide on a theme and you want to do some des like some building and some designing, because then as you're having fun, stuff just builds up in the background, right? So the modular engines is definitely the easier one to go for. We're already making motors at one a minute, I think, maybe two a minute. And then we're making rubber. We're just not bringing it here. And we have those. Those are right here. So I feel like those would not, the, the modular engines would not take very long. What's our rate for motors? It's this little guy in the back right here. And you should be blue. Mr. Motors. Four per minute. So if we base it off of that. modular engines so I could make two per minute so that's 250 minutes four hours 
in the background. I can easily have that happen. Um, smart plating is two per minute. So two to one. So I need a thousand smart plating. We have that for sure. Yeah, that's doable. I don't want to manually feed in the rubber though. So I feel like what we would want to do is get the tr get a train bringing rubber back here. And then we would just, we would siphon off our motors. But I feel like we have probably good for building. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're stacked. So we could pull the motors off somewhere here, send them up to a manufacturer on this level and have that start to do its thing. Or we could send them into another building. It might be worth putting a small... <laughs> I always forget about that. <laughs> Silly. Uh, we could put a small building somewhere near that. That might be worth doing too. I think this is where I'm supposed to put this stuff, right? Yes. Realizing there's not a lot of stripes on this, and I think that's something I'm missing is some of the stripes that uh, that Wheeljack has. He's got green stripes and red patches. Thanks for all the great content. Been really enjoying all the satisfactory content now that I dove head first into the game upon release. That penguin dude with a Canadian dollar, $20 tip. Thanks so much penguin dude that's amazing i really really appreciate it uh and such kind words that's really nice of you very very cool wow head first into the game i'm glad you, i'm glad you're liking it i'm glad that you're really digging satisfactory i like seeing people get into the game and it's always really nice to hear when the content that you make has inspired people you know so thanks very much very very cool yeah, this is feeling very empty. I might have to put like a green stripe or something along there. That feels very industrial, but not the end of the world. We could maybe end up having another one over here for the motors, right? We could mirror the motors and have them happen on the other side. Uh, what am I looking for here? I guess... We just have more cleanup to do, right? That I could, or I could figure out how this roof is going to sort itself out. Yeah, I did not think about that. I guess we could use upside down ramps here. so as to not disrupt the flow of things. But I do think we'd have to get rid of this. And maybe if we wanted to keep this, we could have, I don't know if this is going to be the right angle. Let's just see. I hope it is. Oh, we got lucky. I think that looks all right. We don't even have to have it be glass. We could have it be a roof piece or a wall piece. Probably a roof piece. They tend to look better. And you know, red wouldn't be bad. Red would be kind of cool.
Like I said, he's got patches of red. That might be fun. I don't know if we want to do that much space inside. How we handle the inside doesn't really matter now. We can do whatever we want. That's easy enough to do. Or is it? Have to be one of those up ramps. That's going to stick through on the outside, I think. Again with the red patches. Maybe we even do this is red. Although that's gonna look funny. Cause it's gonna I guess we need to find like a we need to make like a red concrete. kind of bright. Don't know how to make that darker. I don't know if there's a way. No. So in some way, it kind of left. Don't know what else we could do there. A little primary. You want the concrete to be bright, you're kind of stuck. So that might be better off as like a metal. It doesn't really match that paint. We could do flat roofs, I guess. I could come in sideways with one of these. These just aren't flat. That's the only problem. And it wouldn't be red from underneath. It would be a metal color. And leaves a funny gap here too. Just because of the way that they're made. Snuggly Boo Bear, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for the lurk. Post box red in the UK? Yeah. Very bright. Well, I think I like that look. I don't think this needs to be bigger. We could make it fatter. It's a little thin. It wouldn't be bad if it was chunky. Those are only one, so maybe making this two would be a good way to differentiate it. And then that would solve um, some of our problems inside. I wouldn't have to do this angle, I could just go straight down with it. It could be easier. I just don't want to raise this up. I think that that needs to be flat. So then I need to think about this side and this entrance. Probably a two meter ramp again. I 
Oh wow, that's really cutting in. Maybe not. Maybe we just go down by one. Nope. You know, this might be a good spot for, to try the new stairs. Of course, we don't have the right stair. That's fine. Yikes, these are harder to use than I thought. I guess I could do a half foundation. Ramps look a little bit more otherworldly. It's not bad. Although, really, this is the one that's on the outside, so we could, depending on the depth of the door here, we might want to, we could bump this back and get ourselves some more space. So that's good, too. So what I was thinking is that we could use the edge here for some of that that green. I think maybe the a gr getting a good green. Did I decide on a green? I think I did, yeah. That is more wheel jack, I think. Big splotches of red and then green stripes. But uh, what I would like to do is try and drop this in places where we can. Subtle. And then if we eliminate the inside. Or actually, I can paint those, can't I? Because the inside has got some depth to it now. Nighttime again. Time's for a brick. Just enough so that you can't see it. But just like subtle stuff like that, I think, really makes a big difference. Keeps it looking less boxy. Uh, we could also... Uh, do a dip at the top here too. 
Yeah, we got the red in here. I think this could be better green. I'm worried it's going to look like Christmas. That's my only concern. It's not bad. I think there's enough white. I like that. Very cool. Once again, folks, I need to step away for a short break. Um, this will be the last one. I'll have to wrap up after the next hour or so. Uh, but uh, thanks for hanging out. I'll be back in just a few minutes. And we'll continue on with whatever the next um, phase is and the next plan is for getting us some more resources going here.
don't want the chainsaw. Actually, we can probably put those away. Slide those back up into the dimensional depot. And I could probably do that with Mercer Sphere. I guess we'll just check our tickets. Might as well. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of overflow still happening. What do we got? We've got another two. Five all together. Thanks, Sandy. So, could get the wall mounts. Clean pipe would be a good one to have. I think I want to try to get the copper paint. Concrete finish would be nice. What do you think? Do we wait for the concrete? Steel wall and metal roofs are not really high on my list. Six for those. Six for those. Either the copper finish right now, or we wait for one more ticket. Say we wait for one more ticket. How do we want to design these side doors? I guess I've committed to this being the green now. Usually I go with a better color direction. Maybe I should start to think about that before I start painting everything. I also need to figure out how to support these on this side. I feel like these be out at least that far. Thanks for hanging out, Penguin Dude. Appreciate it as always. Yeah, this looks pretty good with the beam. But then this side, of course, we don't have that. We've got like a second floor here. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think that was... This was too low, if I remember. It's... Yeah, it goes right through them. I mean, it's not. Yeah, the smoke, the smoke goes through. So that's the second floor level. Or at the very least, that's the ceiling. And where we have to come down to. I feel like this whole section should be sort of like what we have at the front. The whole section over the door should be solid. This back section, I think, is going to have to be a different shape. I think it's going to have a wider back than the front. Well, oh, that's a cable. It's like, what is that? What's going on there? I should really bring the power along inside and cut that off. Although, is that going down to... That's going to that miner. Is that also going to... Yeah. Okay. Time to say goodnight, says Sweet Sandy. Thanks very much for being here. Of course. Appreciate it. Yeah, floating platforms, no walls. Yeah. It's, it's easy to get into the technical stuff and then not pay attention to the rest, you know? Uh, I feel...
feel like this is going to have to be one of those. And I need to decide what to do with this door. I guess we could also be spending some time doing the, the wiring. It's just it's not as fun as this other stuff, right? Twenty-five. I could probably handcraft this stuff faster. Slowly designing your first factory. Going to take your time with it. That's great, Dan. Very cool. Start at the end with where you want stuff to go and work your way backwards. Have you used Satisfactory Tools at all? That website? What's the factory? Like, what are you making? Keep on forgetting that we've got an awesome sink up here too that I can check tickets on. Similar to mine, oh, you're doing like an inventory, inventory factory? Cool. I kind of like that this is asymmetrical. Uh, this feels like it stops kind of abruptly. So I might want to actually do this all the way down. Do we want it to be red or do we want it to be white? I think the red might look better. I guess we'll leave that white. I don't know what I was supposed to put on top of that though. How did I handle this? It's just higher. Oh, okay. Something's not right there. Right, and I didn't want that. Hmm. I guess maybe there we have to do this.
Well, I guess we'll just... Is that going to be up here too? No. Okay. That's fine. That'll make this look a lot tighter anyway. And then this will just... in like that. No Z fighting up here. Good. I think I like that it goes white on the edge though. So right here when it changes. Oh right, we've got that fighting that happens right there, if it's a different color. Hmm. I guess maybe we'll switch it back. So this I don't think I'm going to have covered over. I think this is going to be open. So I'm probably going to want to have this run to at least here. That effectively covers over the edges, so that's good. Now do I want... I think I want that to stay white because of the front. Yeah, because you can see that from outside. Don't know if I like that or not. Does need some sort of structure. I was really hoping to have more angles, you know? It would be kind of cool if we could have the supports for this be like there, but then that kind of is in the way of where you're walking. And if that's going to be there, it's probably going to go all over the ground. Here's that top rim that I was talking about that we couldn't decide on. And it looks, feels supported. I just don't know if I want to do these gate walls. And have it actually come down. That does feel a lot sturdier, doesn't it? And then we could do the same thing over here with the this piece. That where it connects? No, it's a lot lower. What is going on here? It's better. And I guess we would keep this going.
Hmm, I think maybe we do white. Well, I don't know if we need it. I like that it's recessed. But I think maybe we can just kill it right there. If anything, we may have to make it white to cover that up. Yeah. So wild how the white the white makes things gray for concrete. Grave Lima, if you're posting links, you gotta be a uh, VIP. Usually better to say hello, although I'm assuming you're probably a bot. Yeah, I like the chunk of red as opposed to stripes of red. So I'm actually tempted to change the beams to green just to kind of see. No, I think they're better red. As soon as the moderators go come out to play. Cosmic Dancer lurking in the background with the band. Thanks very much, Cosmic. Appreciate it. One nice thing about having uh, these gate walls here is that it covers up where the beams connect that I don't like down here. So I think we'll do that down here too. the wide open bit. I think that makes sense. Also, hi Cosmic. How's it going? Oh, you just got here. Just got here in time to smack the band hammer around. Good stuff. We're getting there. That's going to stay white, I think. Good. So what I really need to think about now is, is lights and how we're going to do the lights in a way that will make it look cool. One nice thing we could try um, for, for some lights inside would be like a billboard if we can get it to go flat on the ceiling. Uh, if you do beams along the ceiling we have to sort of rip out some of the some of the ceiling um, bits, but you could grab a billboard sign and like you can attach it and do lights that way. Uh, they don't show up unless it's um, uh, unless you have your, your lumen on, but. Uh, what's a good blue light setting? I should look up like a, a bunch of like cool light settings from a website. Let me just look at, because I feel like, um, yeah, he's got his light, his cheek lights and his, his highlights, like his little electronic lights are blue. I feel like we can get away with some blue light. We'd look good bouncing off all the white in here. That's actually not bad. Feel like we want to go 
high saturation, but not. I think maybe we have to do decent saturation, but then I think we have to lower this for it to work. What did I want? Oh, it's the wrong one. Has to be this one. Right? So if that was in the ceiling, that would give off the right kind of light, I think. Uh, alternatively, we could also just put in, like, one of these guys. But they are ugly and a pain in the butt. I would probably run them that way. But you have to put in so many that these are a lot nicer. So what I would probably do here is figure out what the middle is. It is one, two, three, four. So the middle would be right down the middle here. Oh, gotta be careful. And then you'd grab a... Problem is we've got stuff upstairs already. And we would figure out another measurement, probably right in the middle of this. And then grab one of the, either small one or big one maybe multiple small ones thanks for the sticker cosmic dancer appreciate it that's new new today so you can see how if you remove the foundations and you add the beam, the signs kind of like dig into the beam. Uh, these ones are a little bit better. So then when you're down here, it like it really does look like a proper panel. So you can get rid of these now. Put your, your concrete back. And then potentially have lights. So they line up with the, the windows, but they don't necessarily line up with the machines. I didn't really line them up with the windows very well, but this is a proof of concept. Layout. Uh, I think the one that you choose is supposed to be this one. One of them gives you only like one background color dot. Didn't save that color, did I? This, it was kind of like somewhere in there. Almost a green. This was around a two. Let's just save this as blue light temp. might not be quite light enough. That's not bad. They're a little boring. Like, I almost want to see a little bit more of the, the guts at the top of it, but that's not bad. 
I'll let that percolate for a bit. New buttons must press. Uh, there are ones with TTS. Uh, I think I have disabled text to speech. If you want to test it, please go ahead. Um, but it should not work. I haven't decided if I want to do that and I need to decide how to limit text to speech. I think the only way to limit text to speech would be with bits. I think. Oh, I didn't know there was well, an Optimus that's Prime. Just Prime. That's cool. Oh, I think the text to speech is there, but not. I disabled where you could make it a, a text to speech. But there's existing text to speech that came with the with the plugin. Uh, that's really cool. I didn't. Uh, I couldn't go through all 500 of them to um, to pick out the ones that I wanted. So I, I have a long to do list to double check. I'd also like to make some custom ones because I've got I can do a test here. Hold on. I've got these ones too. These are unfortunately mine are small. So if you look at my custom stickers. If I hit preview, you guys should see this, right? And then that one, but they're tiny because they're emote size. Oh no, you typed that in cosmic? Oh wow, okay. Oh yeah, they're all in. The, the back end of this plugin is not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I don't know what Winnie the Pooh says, but we can find out. What's wrong with knowing what you know now and not knowing what you don't know until later? That's a pretty poor approximation of Winnie the Pooh. That's definitely AI. Um, still, there's some fun ones. I like the fact that we've got Star Wars and Vader and stuff. I just need to um, go through and like change the bits and everything. So this was that kind of an arc. I don't think I want to do that big of a door. I think I want to try to do half foundations. It came with something else and I typed in a message and it read the message and said, oh, very cool. I'm glad you like them. Yeah, I mean, I think they're fun. Uh, that should be a two meter. And then we'll do a two meter single one. No, four meter half foundation I want. that okay so if I wanted this to get up higher do that and then I have to use the back side to attach a ramp to. Do this first, I guess. Then, to make it not a triangle, we'll just throw in one of these. So I was hoping maybe what I need to do is move that a little bit more sideways. Although that'll be harder to cover up if I need to. It's not bad, it's not terrible. Uh, I also had chrome pipes in the middle of it. Not pipes, pillars. Yep, 
Yeah, I was hoping to, I need to try and do a little bit more to monetize the channel. And so I'm hoping the stickers are going to be it. Oh, I didn't check to see how deep they were. Don't think they were. Oh, no, those are pretty chunky. Okay, so having those in there on a small door is probably pretty good. Yeah, I think that works. And then I had a shape on the outside as well. And that is going to be harder to do. This may end up just having to be ramps going up the other way. At least for now. I guess I want that to be coming out that far. Not sure about these. I was going to bring the power up the building, wasn't I? We've got the power coming in here. Do I want to cross it over? I probably do. So I'll have to do that at this location. Actually, what should happen there is one of the ones that goes through. And then we should be able to bring this into here. Oh, no, it's the same thing. I don't want that. This is going to be hard. Oh, there we go. There's unfortunately no better way to keep your um, wires from dropping. So that's a little frustrating. Because on top of this thing looking like a little bit of a Christmas tree, it also now has what looks like Christmas lights dangling from it. So we can take this all the way along here. Get it out someplace better, I would say. right here. So that connects that through the building, although that's not the straightest. should be able to disconnect the stuff outside. As long as 
that guy still has got power. Which it should. No, I need to connect this to whatever's floating around in here. Right. Yeah, messy. Not at all what I want. Uh, we're gonna go with some walls. For now, we'll just get one of these going through. I find the power is something I need to remember to do a lot better from the get-go. Like you, you really need to think about it from the start. You're also going over there. This from inside, we will run here. That still has power. You do not. Why do you not? Because I deleted something here I probably shouldn't have. I can delete this now. means that I no longer need this can be powered some other way we definitely need that to keep going and I should be able to remove this And that's how the power is coming in, so we need to leave that. Cleans that up nicely. Slowly but surely getting there. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep that for now. on both sides. Oh, right. Uh, I do need something out here to cover that up, don't I? It's just a face. I can do this.
and then I'll have to work out how to do the rest of it. Hex, hey Joel, hope you're well. How's the build coming along? Uh, pretty good. We made some changes. Let me just get out front so I can show you. Uh, inside, we've tidied up a lot. We've added some skylights. I'm toying around with some sign lighting. We've uh, finished up the catwalk details and started on the roof. And I changed the height of the front here. And the shape is a little bit more to my liking. It's also symmetrical. We cleaned up the front portal there. We had some details down here. So I'm not entirely sure about some of the textures and I need to add more details. There's some empty spaces here that feel a little bit bland. Uh, and I'm not crazy about one giant big space like that. I was kind of hoping to do more lighting and less windows. So I may have to work out that a little bit more. Uh, we are trying to model this after Wheeljack. And um, so the, the his cheeks are kind of like the inspiration for the roof, the that side of size. And then I've also got some details down here as well as like some, I want to put some more stuff up in here. I don't think this is, I think this is going to come up and have some sort of design there. I'll have to see. I'm not going to go straight to the top. Um, I guess I could. I just don't want it to look like a direct copy of his face. I kind of want to just be like inspired by. That makes sense. Background lurking because I've got home. Thanks so much, Cosmic. Always a pleasure to have you lurking. Yeah, so obviously I've not done the full thing. We've been toying around some different highlight colors here and there. Power is still coming in at a temporary location, and I have no idea what to do at the back. Like, none. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. about dividing the center glass window in the hall this one dividing it in half yeah I've, I've i'm curious i i unfortunately it's just going to be a lot less light but we'll see again i keep on it's the kind of things that i don't do but i should because it's so easy to fix and satisfactory to to replace that so i'm gonna mess around with that um i'm also at the stage where like i kind of need to start I want to get this last tier six done as well. And we are at 35, like it's slow. Again, I can probably craft them faster. More plastic and more cable. Back to here. One thing I did not do today at all was any infrastructure. Setting up those um, long distance into the depot um, Miners, though, on the, the, the higher tier stuff was a really smart idea. Yeah, I need more of that. Let me 
fill up the pipes. I guess the other thing is I could be cranking this up with um, stuff, but then like it's gonna take a crazy amount of screws. What would I? What would this do? First of all, do I have the power? Yes. 600 per minute. I can't even do that. 480 per minute. Change that. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. Just means we're going to run out of the other stuff a lot faster, though. Whoops. That's going to make four per minute. At that rate, I probably want to add a, um, a bin for some of the smaller stuff. How did that get on five? That's not what I want on five. Is that just off? Well, this looks terrible. those are the biggest users no pipes are definitely the I find that the lighter um, products are really hard to spot on the signs, like they're very washed out, right? That should go a little bit faster. It's also going to go through our screws like crazy. Why not sloop instead of shards? Oh, I don't have it unlocked. I hope we're still getting... Yes, okay, we're still getting some. Alright, that should be decent for a little bit. We'll get at least 20. I just realized I can make a capsule too. And that should give us that last ticket. To unlock the plastic coated concrete, I think. Yep. 
Almost a two. I should make an awesome shop over here. Six. We'll do... Coded, I think, is the best way to go. All Fix-It Awesome Shop purchases are purely intended for professional Fix-It employee business. So now that the sun's going down, I can turn on Lumen. This is going to be a frame drop. There's something to screw with Lumen right now. But you can see the glow that the lights give off with Lumen on. Don't remember if I have those as bright as they could be or not. No. So the one on the left is brighter. Yeah, so you can see how that acts as a light, right? And that's better, I think, than hooking up actual lights. Oh, thanks, Hex. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, it's, unfortunately, it's like a slideshow while I'm streaming. And even then, it's like, I can really only do it for screenshots when I'm offline after I'm done streaming. But, I mean, it still looks cool. It kind of gives the Transformer vibe. Because, again, like, we're trying to make it look like these guys and they have like the white lights in their eyes and like little little like registry lights around their body you know their forearms and their shoulders and stuff like grill lights on the car so i'm trying to like put those finishing touches on um but i think the only thing we've got left to do inside is going to be um all the cable management over here i wouldn't mind having some of this look a little bit tighter uh, i might see what i can do about moving some stuff around um, lining things up, maybe lining these up all together instead of being out in the middle. It feels kind of odd that they're off. I feel like I could maybe line them up. It would, it would mean really short belts, but I think it would look a little bit nicer. Um, the fact that this is backed up is good. Are these also? Yeah, so we're, we're producing 10, but we're only using eight. And that way we absolutely get stators and motors being stored. There's an overflow emptying out that way too. Cool. So yeah, I think obviously this is the temporary platform. We don't know what's happening up here. We're just doing manual stuff up there for now. Eventually, I would like to have one crystal oscillator, one uh, computer, although computers we might have to make somewhere else. Uh, and certainly we could do crystal oscillators here uh, or heavy modular frames. I want to get rid of the screws, though. And the idea is that I can expand the steel to go up to the second floor so I can do at least twice as many steel up top. Uh, we could also pull this forward to a point. Um, I could put, well, depends on where the manufacturers are. But yeah, the back of the building is still needing a lot of love. Uh, I didn't realize this was going to be this big of a project, but here's where we are. I'm just happy that we have so much in storage and that I really want for nothing now. I have to get my plastic rubber and quartz remotely, 400 at a time, but that's fine because we're not really building with it much. Um, it's pretty easy to, to stock up. Uh, and even then, a quick trip out to a double bin would set us up for a while. So really, it's just a matter of tidying up in here and I guess figuring out how to reconcile the shapes down the edges. Uh, it's also asymmetrical. This part comes out because there's there's double lines on this side. 
So we've got to figure out what's going on there. Windows, all that stuff. I think we're going to bring it in like this, though. I just need to do, make a, I need to find a way to make this look more interesting, because that is just not... I mean, the good news is that it's usually on the shadow side, but we need to come up with something, I think. Anyway, uh, let's see who's streaming so I can pass you all on to somebody else, because I need to wrap up my day. I guess we'll hang in here where the view is cool. Let me just see who's online. Don't think Total is streaming today. I think he's on a trip. I'm going to pass you all along to Woe Jess. She's lovely. Very chill stream. Also playing Satisfactory. Uh, I think she's new with 1.0, but she's quickly catching on. I don't really remember. Uh, but uh, you will have a very good time there. Uh, I have to raid and run, so uh, give Woe Jess my best. I'll drop a, a message in chat just to say what we were up to. Um, but uh, that is where I'm going to leave it off. Uh, we, of course, are going to be streaming tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Uh, in the meantime, there are VODs on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, and there's a new episode of the Spun Chunks podcast out where Pixel Rips and I talked about hands-on with the Pale Garden blocks, the Pale Garden biome, and the Creaking Mob. He actually took it on in Survival, and I spent a lot of time with the Pale Oak Wood trying to figure out what palette uh, and blocks it would go with. So it was a lot of fun to have that discussion. That's episode 318. It's out now. Uh, I am also trying to uh, figure out a time with uh, Pixarifs that we can sit down and talk about um, the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I need to finish that tonight, actually. So look for that soon. I'll be recording that live in my Discord. If you gave a gift sub, if you donated today, if you took the time to use your Prime sub or grabbed a tier one or enjoyed the new stickers with the bits today, I really, really appreciate it. This was a really fun stream. I hope that uh, you had a good time as well. And uh, check out the Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's the easiest way to join the Discord. It's only $2 a month, and uh, it is going to stay like that. So if you are interested in the community, come on over. Uh, we don't bite unless you ask us nicely, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.